All right, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the Twisted Leaf Rod Shop channel. Um, this is Mason, my name is Mason. And uh, this is just a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about some of my, uh, my future builds that we're gonna be doing. So um, I know that uh, the channel's been a little bit slow for those of you that have been here for a little while. Thank you so much for that. Um, up to like 350-ish subscribers and hey, I mean, we're tortoise in the hair and it, we're, we're slow going up to that thousand, but we're getting there. So um, if you guys, uh, if you guys like to see people build things, I do a lot of welding. I do a lot of uh, fabrication and I like to make things. So um, if you guys like those kind of things, then, you know, boom, hit that subscribe button for me. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button for me. Um, I, uh, I'm just wanting to tell you guys about a, a couple of the future projects that will be done in the next uh, month, two months, three months. And uh, they'll all be right here on YouTube, so you guys can follow along there. Um, the, the first one is going to be a double barrel smoker. Here's a picture of that. Anyway, um, so that's for a customer. Uh, he brought me the tank and a trailer, and the trailer that he brought is not going to work. I'll put a picture of that up here. And, uh, but I had another trailer, so, I, you know, here you go. I'll trade you trailers and then uh, I'll build you a smoker. So that one's gonna be really cool just because of how big it is and it's a double barrel smoker. You know, you're gonna have two smokers. Each side you'll be able to work on. You can smoke things on both sides at the same time or just one side or just the other side. Um, you can smoke, you know, whatever you want to on it. You can do, you, I, with that size, I think you could do four whole hogs, which is gonna be really cool um, because he's planning on doing it for like catering and big events and stuff like that. Um, so that one's gonna be really cool. I'm super excited for that. And uh, I have another smoker build coming up too, but I got a little bit of backstory on that one, I'll tell you. Um, but uh, so the double barrel smoker will be this month. I'll start on it uh, next week. And then uh, directly after I am done with that, I'm going to start on a camper trailer. So uh, you guys have probably seen, if you're into the camper trailers uh, side of the world, the like teardrops and the overland campers and mini and micro campers and all those kind of things. It'll be in that same vein. Um, so, you know, I've got a, uh, it's like a four by eight trailer, but some people, someone who ever had it before me kind of expanded a little bit, it's five by nine. I don't know, it's kind of a weird size. Um, but uh, we're gonna be working on that. So it's, it's gonna be set up a little bit differently than a normal teardrop, a little bit differently than a normal micro camper. Uh, most of those campers you, you get in, it's just all bad. And then on the back, you got a galley. And I don't really like that. Um, you know, I've got a kid and I'd like to, uh, like to be able to take them on camping with me and have enough room for my kid and my wife and my dog and all those kind of things. And it doesn't really work out with just one mattress. So I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. Uh, if you guys are into the, the micro camp build, then please check that one out. Uh, that'll be coming up the first week of August is when I'm gonna be building it because the first weekend of August, we have a, uh, a river float trip up in Northeastern Oklahoma. And I want to have it livable for that. Now, it won't be done. It won't be finished. It won't have everything else, whatever. It'll be a shell with a bed in it and the door, and that's pretty much it. But um, me and the me and my buddies, uh, we go camping every year, um, twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. And I want to take it on that this fall. And so I'll do a, a few other things uh, before we get to that point, and I'll show you guys, uh, you know, like a part two on that, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, That'll be the first week of August. I'll do that. I'll film it. I'll take some some pictures and video of the float trip, and then I'll post that up. You know, the second week of August or whenever I get around to editing it. Um, after that, I have uh, I have kind of a two part build going on. So a little backstory on this. If you guys will hang out with me for just a second here, I bought a skid steer. Which, if you guys know what skid steers are, I love them. They're super awesome. They're super fun to drive. Um, and I say I bought it, I didn't buy it, I traded for it. So if you guys know me personally, or if you are like me, then you like to trade things. I love to trade things. Trading is my favorite thing. I would, if I could just trade for everything for the rest of my life, trade labor for this or trade this for that or whatever, I would, I would rather do that than pay for anything ever because trading is just that much fun. Anyway, long story short there, Bobcat. Skid Steer, 743B, Kubota four-cylinder engine. I've got a tractor with Kubota three-cylinder in it, so I know a little bit about them. This guy had it posted up. Um, the engine that was in it is out of it now, and the motor's blown up. And he's got another motor, and it needs to be put back in. It's been sitting for a long time. He says 10 years. I don't think it's been 10 years. Anyway, I asked him, hey, would you take anything in trade? And he said, well, what do you got? I've got this old pickup, and I built smokers. And he said, well, I don't really like that smoker, and I don't really need the old pickup, but I do have this water tank. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. Um, you want to build a smoker out of it? And he said, yeah. And he said, it's five foot around, five foot tall. 
I said, okay, cool, whatever, I'll come look at it. So I go look at it, and it used to be an old water filter for like a city municipality or something like that, and it's full of sand. Well, it's not full of sand anymore, and he wants to build it into a smoker. So we talked about it, him hauled around, he said, I'd like to do this. I said, hey, let's do this too, and this and that one thing and another. And so I got this trailer over here that we could put it on. I said, hey, that's great. That's wonderful. Let's do it. You know, trailer, smoker, boom, done. Got some really cool ideas for that one. Um, it's going to be a smoker that I've never seen before. A really, really cool multi-purpose smoker with some really cool features. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it if you liked any of my smoker build videos right there or maybe over here. And uh, anyway, so I'm really excited for that. And then the Bobcat, obviously, um, I'll put some pictures of that up here. I'm gonna be building that, uh, putting it back together. I'm not really building it or anything like that. I just need to reassemble it. Um, I'm gonna be doing, uh, uh, I'm gonna be starting the motor on the ground, making sure everything's good there. So I'll put a video up of that and I'll have a build series on that of, uh, of getting the motor back in it and then getting the Bobcat running again, putting new wheels and tires on it, so on and so forth, whatever it needs to get operational. And then it doesn't have a bucket on it. Um, but you know, hey, I'm a welder. So I'll just weld me up a bucket. I got plenty of material to do that. And uh, I'll weld me up a nice bucket. Maybe a few other attachments for the front because it's got that skid steer quick, quick attach. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So just a quick recap. I've got double barrel smoker trailer, camper trailer, uh, five foot water tank smoker, and Bobcat uh, rebuild restoration coming up. So uh, hopefully I can have some good content out for you guys. I got a new tripod for the phone here. That's what I'm talking on here. You guys can see it. I love it. It's the tallest tripod I've ever had. Most of the other ones are real short and I'm like, Looking down at you guys like that, I don't like that. So, um, you know, I uh, won't be working on cars here anytime soon. I've just been too busy with the business. That's where the smokers and whatnot come from. So, if you're here for car content, sorry. If you're here for building stuff, uh, building smokers or equipment or camper trailers or whatever, then hey, stick stick around because makes and makes. I think I think I might change the name of the, the channel, Twist Leaf Rod Shop. I started it, you know, like any young channel might do with. The intention of this niche but i'm kind of floating into this other one a little bit and i kind of like it so um you guys drop a comment down below uh change the name twist leaf rod shop to mason makes my name is mason i make stuff so you guys let me know and if you like my videos and if you're excited to see the videos coming up drop a comment down below hit that subscribe button hit that like button let youtube know that hey this guy makes at least decent content i mean i don't know that i'm good content but if you guys like it let me know you know i'd like to get to know you guys a little bit better so um anyway Enough of that, seven and a half minutes of talking. I know you guys absolutely love videos like that. Like, share, subscribe, see ya.